we look at semi definite relaxation which is an interesting technique that allows us to generate approximate solutions to a big class of quadratic constrained quadratic prob programs qcqps and they, these qcqps can be non convex they can include integer programs it's a big class of problems which can be modeled as qcqps so consider the problem this is the homogeneous qcqp which takes the form minimize x transpose cx subject to x transpose hi x equal to 1 and x transpose fi x less than equal to 1 so this is a homogeneous this is called a homogeneous qcqp there are basically equality constraints the matrices c hi and fi are all symmetric but nothing is said about their positive semi-definiteness they could be anything they could be indefinite negative semi-definite anything and uh, our goal is to find the solution of this so this is non-convex and it is not that it has hidden convexity it is really non-convex difficult problem in fact a large class of np hard problems are also included in this so for example one of the constraints xi square equal to 1 can be written in this form right and xi square equal to 1 means what xi is either minus 1 or 1 so this is an integer constraint xi is an integer and this kind of integer constraints can be written like this so this means that this homogeneous qcqp actually includes all sorts of integer programs as well so this is a really difficult non-convex problem and our goal is to generate some approximate solution of this so let's see how semi-definite relaxation allows us to do that now first before we do that what we will do is we will start with finding the dual of this problem so to this end let us associate dual variables nu i with the equality constraints and lambda i with the inequality constraints then the Lagrangian which would be a function of x lambda and nu will be written as x transpose cx plus uh, let's say summation over i uh, so let's say 1 to m nu i x transpose hi x minus 1 plus summation over lambda i so let's say 1 to p and x transpose fi x minus 1 so this is the Lagrangian and uh, let us now group it in terms of x so we can write it as x transpose c plus summation of hi nu i plus summation of fi lambda i times x minus summation of nu i minus summation of lambda i so this is the Lagrangian and uh, you may recall that the solution of this problem x transpose ax is basically zero when a is psd but it is minus infinity otherwise so this implies that this quantity must be psd so therefore uh, we can write the dual problem so let's say that this primal is the objective value optimal objective value is p then d is equal to maximum of minus summation nu i minus summation lambda i and subject to constraint c plus hi nu i plus summation of fi lambda i is psd and in addition we also have that lambda i's are greater than or equal to zero because they were associated with inequality constraints so this is the dual problem and what can we say about the dual objective we know that p is greater than or equal to d from weak duality we know that p is greater than or equal to d from weak duality now what we will do is one more step we will again take the dual note that dual in this case is a convex sdp actually 
uh, we what we will do is we'll take the dual once more just to get the form that we are interested in so let us again take the dual so for that purpose let us write this in a slightly different way we want to write it in the standard convex form right so we write it as minus of minimization of summation of nu i plus summation of lambda i because the minus is taken outside so maximization becomes a minimization and then subject to uh, minus c minus summation h i nu i minus summation f i lambda i is negative semi definite and likewise minus lambda i less than equal to zero although we'll keep the last constraint implicit so then now we have the dual in the standard form let us write down the lagrangian so the lagrangian is l of lambda nu and then we have to associate a dual uh, matrix dual variable with the inequality constraint this is the negative semi definiteness constraint so let's associate capital x the matrix capital x with this so the lagrangian becomes uh, summation of nu i plus summation of lambda i minus trace of cx minus summation of nu i times trace of h i x minus summation of lambda i times trace of f i x right and uh, yeah so that's the lagrangian and now we need to minimize the lagrangian with respect to lambda and nu so for that purpose let us group up this thing so we can we obtain that for i equal to 1 to m nu i times 1 minus trace of h i x so that is one term plus summation of lambda i i equal to 1 to p times 1 minus trace of f i x and then we have minus trace of c x so that is our uh, objective function and uh, we already know how to minimize these uh, this is, these are all separable in nu i and lambda i so we can directly write down the the dual problem which would be maximum of uh, minus trace of cx subject to constraint uh, trace of h i x equal to 1 and uh, when we are minimizing with respect to lambda i observe that lambda i's are greater than or equal to 0 so they should be multiplied with something which is also positive otherwise the whole thing will go to minus infinity so therefore we obtain trace of f i x less than or equal to 1 and then remember that x was the matrix dual variable so this has to be psd so this is our dual problem now if you look at the d it was defined as minus of this so we would define pd as minus of this so we can basically write it as minimization of trace of cx right so pd can be written as minimization of trace of cx subject to constraint trace of hi x equal to 1 and then trace of fi x less than equal to 1 and x is psd so this is the dual of the dual problem now what can we say about the dual of the dual problem remember that p is greater than or equal to d by weak duality and this pd which is the dual of the dual is so d is greater than or equal to pd so this implies that p is greater than or equal to pd so this means that the objective function here objective value here is less than what we had in the original problem which was this one so we have two problems which look sort of similar and one of the object one of the problems has an objective which is less than the other so what is the link between these two problems now to understand that what we can do is we can try to see what is how they are related so let's say in the original problem we denote so let us say that in the original problem we say that x is equal to x x transpose so capital x is equal to x x transpose then you can observe that x transpose cx is nothing but trace of cx right and x transpose hi x would be trace of hi x and then x transpose 
fi x would be trace of fi x so this means that the right hand sides in this equation in this or the objective and the functions the constraint functions they are all linked like this and the only difference between the two problems then is in the original problem we have this constraint and in this problem we have the constraint that x is psd which was not there in the original problem now obviously x, x, x transpose is also psd in fact this constraint is equivalent to saying that rank of capital x equal to 1 so why are they equivalent because whenever rank of x capital x is equal to 1 you can always write that x as some small x times small x transpose so whenever rank of x is equal to 1 we can always do this decomposition so these two are equivalent so what is essentially going on here is that we are in the original problem we had this constraint these are all linear in x note that these are all linear in x this is a non-convex and difficult to handle constraint because it is saying that the rank of a matrix is equal to 1 you know it's a non-convex kind of constraint what we are doing essentially in this is that we are converting or relaxing this constraint into this constraint that x is psd so this is the relaxation that we are doing we are taking a non-convex constraint and we are relaxing it which means that we are increasing the uh, objective the the domain of x or the values that x can take the constraint region we are increasing it that's the meaning of relaxation and that is why the objective is decreasing because we are relaxing the constraint region expands so the minimum can go further down so the relaxation is that x rank x equal to 1 becomes x greater than equal to 0 and this is exactly the semi-definite relaxation right so we have seen two intuitions for this one is that we can write x equal to small x times small x transpose and then relax then we obtain SDR and the other intuition is that it is the dual of the dual so that is the second intuition and uh, one so we have relaxed it and we would be able to obtain capital X but one major issue with relaxation it does not always like uh, help us because there is one step remaining what is that step which it, it is that how do we recover x right so capital x is obtained if we solve the relaxed problem then we obtain capital x but how do we recover small x now you can there are two basically cases case one is that suppose that the x star which is the solution suppose x star is a solution and x star satisfies rank of x star equal to 1 so there are two scenarios so if rank of x star is actually equal to 1 we relaxed it that x star should be greater than or equal to 0 but we suppose somehow we obtain that rank of x star is actually equal to 1 then actually we don't need to worry too much because our relaxation did not hurt because we finally obtained the solution which is rank 1 and we can obtain x tilde as follows so we can obtain basically x as follows so we can say that this is the eigenvalue decomposition of x star and then all we need to do is take the non-zero eigenvalue there's only one non-zero eigenvalue and the corresponding eigenvector and that is our x star right uh, so sometimes when even when rank is not equal to one what people do is that they take the largest eigenvalue so they take the largest eigenvalue and that also works out in many cases that it is approximately a good solution and the second scenario where this uh, works out is that when you have xi square equal to one kind of constraints so x is either plus minus one so xi is uh, plus minus one so in this case also there is a scheme which is called randomization So there is an approach called randomization through which we can obtain uh, like a feasible solution, feasible x. So what we can do is we can generate x tilde as 
normally distributed with zero mean and covariance matrix x star. We can always do that because x star is PSD. We know that x star is PSD. So covariance matrix has to be PSD. So we can generate multivariate normal with this distribution. Now this kind of generation is very easy. You can easily generate tens of thousands of normal distributed random variables with a given uh, x star. Then what we can do is we can set xi as uh, a round, rounded version of x tilde i. So whatever x tilde i is. So for example, instead of round, maybe I should say it should be sine of xi. Sine of x tilde i. So you can see that xi tilde equal to sine of x tilde i and that would be the uh, solution that would that could be one of the solutions now what we what uh, actually is done in practice is that uh, this can be repeated many times so what we can do is we can generate all like tens of thousands of possible candidate solutions by generating these random variables and then taking their signs and then once what we can do is out of those candidate solutions we can pick the solution which has the smallest objective so pick x tilde i with smallest objective right so then this way we would have basically obtained a good approximation to the original problem because we uh, we still have xi which is plus minus one and it has a small objective right so this randomized uh, randomization is heuristic but there are certain scenarios in which people have shown that it works and it gives a near optimal solution but not necessarily not always but in certain scenarios it gives near optimal solution there are also scenarios where sdr has been found to be exact which means that it is SDR is not really a relaxation and just is an approach to solve this non-convex QCQP exactly. Uh, there, in those cases, basically there is some hidden convexity which SDR is able to bring out. Right. So these are two popular cases which have been used. So this was uh, all about semi-definite relaxation.